Hi, it's David George Brooke, that gratitude guy. The question of today, why am I so depressed? Well, if we started listing all the reasons why people get depressed, it would unfortunately be a long list. It can be personal, it can be physical, it can be mental, it can be family, friends, work, relationships. There's so many reasons why people get depressed. So I don't necessarily know why and how people get to those particular states, but I do know several things that can make a difference if you are depressed. One of the top things I can talk about and advocate for is a gratitude journal. The Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal. You write in this every day, takes you five minutes, maybe six. And you're talking about all your blessings, all your abundance. Gratitude turns what you have into enough. It helps you focus on what you have and not worry about what you don't have. That can definitely help with depression. Another thing, and I've got five reasons today or five actions to take that can make such a big difference. Exercise. Almost every single book written having to do with health talks about how important exercise is. Especially when you get older, it's even more important. It's really kind of the fountain of youth. So if you can write in your gratitude journal every single day, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can get my gratitude journal on Amazon. If you could exercise, have an accountability partner, a workout partner, a gym to go to where you gotta show up at a certain time, that makes such a difference, number two. Number three, meditation. As little as five to 10 minutes a day for meditating will make such a big difference. It gives, it gives your chance for your brain to take a moment off, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes off. You wouldn't drive your car around all day long with the foot pedal or the gas pedal rather on the floor. You're gonna let up on the pedal, you're gonna hit the brake, you're gonna coast for a while. Well, the same thing is true with your brain. It needs a break occasionally. And when you're depressed, that brain is going 100 miles an hour wondering how it could fix itself and make things better. So meditation is also a really, really powerful aspect to add. Number four, eat nutritious food. There's a reason they call it junk food. A lot of it is junk. And so take the time to eat the vegetables and eat the salads and eat the nutritious food. You're, again, like the car analogy, you're putting food into your body in the same way you put gas into a car. You wouldn't put kerosene or you wouldn't put old gas that's been sitting around for a few years in your gas, in your gas tank. You're gonna put fresh gas in, you won't put good food in too. So make sure you're eating nutritious food. And finally, and also all is critical important is the rest drink lots of water depending on your weight it's going to be two to three to four quarts a day yeah I know you got to go to the bathroom once in a while <laughs> maybe more than once in a while I drink lots of water oh, excuse me I have to go to the bathroom right now because I'm right in the middle of this video and I need to go to the bathroom but it does help to drink a lot of water so remember those five things a gratitude journal exercise meditation eat nutritious food and drink lots of water and if you'd be so kind to to subscribe to my channel down below you'll see a little link in the uh, right hand corner and hit that to make sure you're getting two to three videos a week that hopefully will help you and put gratitude into your life and help it make your life better and maybe not as depressed as it happens to all of us every so often thanks so much for watching i'm the gratitude guy take care